I'm a diabetic since 1998, almost 25 years ago. For me, the diagnosis diabetes 1 was a shock. With diabetes, every day you go out of the door, you have to think about everything you have to take with you. And that really affected my life because at that time, in my previous job, I traveled a lot, I went all over the world. But the problem then is with the time differences, it's quite difficult to manage your diabetes. Being a patient in 2003, I had 10 years diabetes roughly, and it was really a problem for me to have to handle my daily situation. So uh, being a technician, I thought, well, is there perhaps a solution, a technical solution who could support me in, in managing my diabetes daily? Treating diabetes with only insulin is a bit stupid, I think. So uh, that's also because the, your own uh, pancreas is also using two or even three hormones to control the, your blood glucose daily. At a certain evening, I, I was in front of my fridge and I saw the glucagon and instead of getting me out of trouble, I thought perhaps it's, it's better to use this not to get into trouble. And that's why I decided to make a, a bihormonal system. After 15 years development, roughly two and a half years ago, I was at the point that I could, could decide to wear my own device. It's a breakthrough. At this moment, we have um, AP devices that use insulin and this is an AP device that uses insulin and glucagon. And therefore, the glucose levels can be in a smaller range. And um, I think the glucose levels are easily uh, well controlled with this AP device. The technical base of a technical device, which is, is a fully closed loop, which this is, a, a patient can't interfere in the treatment. So it's very important to have a, a good measurement and not only glucose measurement but also exercise measurements for example. So it makes it more accurate, it makes it more reliable and it makes it more consistent. We conducted uh, several studies uh, to investigate the safety and performance of the artificial pancreas. Uh, and in our latest trial we uh, studied the artificial pancreas in 23 adults with type 1 diabetes and we compared the treatment with their standard insulin pump therapy. And we found that the time in range uh, was significantly increased with the artificial pancreas compared to the standard insulin pump therapy. And we also found that the median glucose values were lower with the artificial pancreas. So we are really enthusiastic about these results and that this treatment can offer a solution for uh, a lot of patients. Plans for the near future are more patients in the Netherlands, uh, learn from them, uh, support them on the, at the proper way, also work together with the hospitals. And the device is CE Mark, so the next steps will be in, in other countries in Europe. But the system is also CB tested, it has a CB passport, which means that we, for example, we could also do trials in, in other countries like the United States or other parts of the world. We now have prepared a complete new production room uh, which can support the launch and ramp up of our AP system. We are very close to the patients, so we build those products, we deliver them to the patients and we see the results. And they are very happy, uh, it's changing their lives, so that really gives us as a company and personally also a boost to further develop this product that we really can distribute it further over the world to all people that need those products. The patients are very satisfied with this, this, this new system. The Inreda AP will give insulin during their meals, uh, will give glucagon when the glucose levels are decreasing. So during the night, the glucose levels are perfectly controlled. So when they wake up in the morning, they have good glucose levels and enough energy to start the day. And during the day, they don't have to think about their diabetes. If I go to a restaurant, for instance, um, I don't have to count the carbs anymore. I can take a pancake or a pizza or whatsoever, or uh, fish and chips, and the artificial pancreas really helps with everything. I don't have to think about it anymore. The diabetes burden is decreasing. Although they wear the device, they don't feel like a diabetes patient anymore because they don't have to think about their diabetes. This device is more expensive, but in the long run, there will be lesser diabetes-related complications. I only uh, have the device about four weeks now, so it's very fresh. But if I compare it to the insulin pump I used before, I was about 65% in the target range. And uh, with the artificial pancreas, I have a level of almost between 85 and 90% already in four weeks' time. 
the main thing is you feel a lot more fitter. You, you have better, you better rest, better night rest. Your, your glucose levels are more stable. And then on a little longer term, my eyes became better. I, I was able to sport more. In the last one and a half year, it's, it's very, very stable. So I don't have any hypos anymore. I had 700 a year. So it's ridiculous. It's, it's really, for me, it's really a big step forward. And, and that's what I also hope to achieve for, for other patients. My oldest son and my daughter, they both have diabetes and uh, they don't have the artificial pancreas yet. So with my experience, I hope uh, they can also use it in the future so then they can have a better life, both mentally and physically.